Now for an expert view on the ETA ceasefire, we join from Johannesburg by Brian Curran, who's been a key mediator in several conflicts. He's now involved in efforts to start a peace process in the Bax region. Mr. Corin, thank you very much for joining us. You welcome the ETA declaration. Why are you so optimistic? Well, I'm optimistic because the political situation in the Basque country has changed irretrievably. Um, there are certain basic fundamentals that are in place that have never been in place before. And I believe, and I firmly believe, that the Abatsala left uh, are on a course that is irreversible. As you know, the Spanish government dismissed the ETA ceasefire as insufficient and ruled out any negotiation. Is this for you an appropriate reaction or too much of a hardline response? Well, I'm not surprised that the uh, Spanish government took the line they did. Their position has been since the end of the last ceasefire that there will be no negotiations until such time as ETA not only declares a ceasefire but terminates its uh, armed struggle. So from their perspective there needs to be uh, an a, a total end to, uh, to, a permanent end to violence. You are close to Izquierda Abertzale, the Basque pro-independence left. Is there collaboration with you an attempt to internationalize the resolution of the Basque conflict? I'm not sure that their involvement with me is to internationalize it. Um, I certainly don't see it that way. I mean, one aspect uh, of moving forward is to try and, I think, engage the international community. According to the analyst, uh, ETA uh, would declare a permanent ceasefire before the ending of the year. Do you have any information about that? Well, you know, as I've said to you, a declaration of a permanent ceasefire is will not be sufficient for the Spanish government. The Spanish government have made it quite clear that they're not prepared to negotiate with a gun to their heads. Now, a permanent cease we've, we've had there have been previous permanent ceasefires. The objective really is to get ETA to subscribe to the same position as the Abatsala left. And their position is been made quite clear on a number of occasions and that is um, non-violent uh, political uh, means and uh, certainly an irreversible end to violence. The next ceasefire uh, would, would be need to be verified and monitored internationally by an independent body. Would you be in charge of that body? Well, I, I doubt it. Um, I think that uh, there, are, there are sides that probably view my involvement as, uh, as partial, which it's not. Uh, I make it quite clear what my objectives are. But having said that, I think it would be preferable, because perception is so important. I believe it would be preferable if there were to be an international uh, body verifying the ceasefire, that they choose someone who has had no involvement whatsoever in the, uh, in, in, in the, in the work uh, moving towards the situation that we hope to achieve. You think the Spanish government will recognize you as a mediator? I haven't offered my services as a mediator, and uh, I uh, would, uh, I cannot, for one moment, even anticipate what the Spanish government might uh, might believe is is necessary. It's conceivable that there won't be a need for a mediator. It's conceivable that if we get to a stage where there is a permanent end to violence. Um, and Batasuna is, uh, is legalized, that they can do politics in the Basque country and then there can be direct negotiations. Are we closer to the beginning of a peace process in the Basque country? I certainly do believe that we are closer to a peace process in the Basque country. And it's not only a question of being closer to a peace process. I believe that the circumstances are such that we are closer to a peace process in the Basque country that will be sustainable. Um, and a, cr a critical ingredient of that would be, in my view, the legalization of uh, Batasuna. In past peace processes, they've been banned as an organization, un un unlawful. And it's very difficult to have a peace process with the organization that represents the people who believe that they are oppressed 
is unlawful. They can't negotiate openly. Other parties are not prepared to meet with them. You can't have an open and transparent peace process. But Mr. Corwin, you are aware that uh, in Spain, for any political party to be uh, in the elections, they must condemn the violence before. If ETA were to declare an end to their armed struggle, then there's no terrorist organization uh, that needs to be condemned. And if that is the case, there would be no need for Batasuna to condemn violence. At the moment, there is a view that there's a connection between Batasuna and ETA. On the other hand, if ETA decides that they're not going to declare an end to their armed struggle and they continue with their acts of violence, well, in those circumstances, clearly Batasuna would have no choice but to reject the violence. Isn't the real goal of this ceasefire to bring Batasuna back to life as a political force? There is local elections next year. The situation as it is at the moment cannot go indefinitely. The people of the Basque country have an expectation that political processes move forward, that this conflict transformation process where we are at the moment comes to an end, which would then enable uh, Batasuna to participate in elections. Brian Corrin, thank you very much indeed. Thank you.